Hey guys, Willie Davidson here. The video I'm going to do today is, see a lot of your guys, they've got their toolboxes, they've got side locker boxes onto your toolbox guys. I've actually got, it's not a side locker attached don't you, eh? but it's like a locker at the side of it. And what I'm going to do today for you is, I'm going to do a short video, well saying I'm saying short, I'm going to do a video of that locker there, right in the centre of the screen. It's got my scroll saw blades on it. My Rexon blades, it's for my scroll saw. A couple of your magnetic trays and a magnet and that for when I'm doing welding and that. As I say, that locker there, I'm going to show you what's in it. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take it to stuff out. Right, it's full of stuff. All that stuff. I'm going to take it out and show you what's in the boxes. As I say, I'm going to open all the boxes and go through them and have a wee quick talk on it. So, if you're pa patient, sit and watch and have a look. If not, as I say, if you find it boring, just scroll on, guys. So, I'll sit, what I'll do is, I'll sit the phone out of the side. Out here. Alright. And I'll empty that onto the bench and then we'll hold the phone and we'll get the stuff spoken about. So we'll get all the stuff out first. There's quite a lot of stuff in there, guys. It's stuff you need. Stuff you'll use through time. If you're doing odd jobs, DIY, whatever. As I say, this stuff is ice stuff that you might end up needing and you'll use and you'll acquire and accumulate and use through time. We'll do the top bit first with the wee boxes before we do the bottom bit with the bigger boxes. Alright? We'll take the wee boxes out. All the wee stuff. Right, we'll go through this first. Right? So, I'll turn my camera down and run, guys. Okay. Right, let me get a wee bit of organisation here, guys. Right. The stuff that we're going to use up out to the right-hand side that we've looked at. But I'll pile this to the front, then you... Right, we'll start off with these. Right. I'll shove that there. As I say, this is stuff that felt pad set, right? All it is, is just wee felt pads... With a wee nail on them. See the wee nail? See if you've got a wee stool leg or something. You just hammer that into the bottom of it. And it's got a felt pad on it. Basically so that you didn't get your flare marked. Your laminate or whatever. And that's basically what they are. Park side. Yeah. You'll see I've got two packets of them. You can never tell what you're going to use them for. I thought them they were cheap. So that's one thing that I bought. Right we'll just grab this here. That's it. We'll just see a quick look through them, guys, and you can see what it is. Right. This is just a mix and match. Just a mix and match. These wee things there are for when you're putting shelves and cupboards in the kitchen. That goes into a wee hole into the wall and you sit your shelf on that. That's what they are. As I say, just plastic odds and ends. These things here. They're for cupboard doors. The wee spring thing. I'll try and get it under the camera. See it? That bit at this side with two screws that goes through the two rollers goes onto your door. And that holds your door shut on your units. I see, just wee daft thing. In fact, there's one at the packet, guys. Guys, the one right in front of me. You get a better look at it. See what I mean? Like that. Handy. If you've got them, you've got them, eh? And there's... Other things that shoves under your units in the kitchen, in the holes, and then you sit your shelf on a bit with the plastic. I see there's loads of them. Um, no, nothing else special. Just things that I've acquired. Carpet tacks. You came what carpet tacks are, guys. And drawing pins, as I say. Nothing special. Just if you ever come across stuff and you need it, it's there. It's, that's it. This one is 
these are for using when you've got screws on units. Okay, and you put your screw through that and screw it in. It does a tidier job and it gives you a better hood. I see they're all silver ones. You've got these, like for on car number plates and that. Put your screw, screw it in and then close it. And you can't see the screw. You know what I mean? All plastic ones. And these are screw covers. Kind of like for own units. If you want to hide the heads of them, you've got white and you've got a sort of lighter brown. You put the screw into a unit cupboard, a white kitchen unit cupboard. You put that out of a screw head and you don't see the screw. It sort of blends it in. Everyone can get that. Right. Next. See when you're like, got a car and you're, or an electrical box or something and you get ones like you drill a hole and you say that's a 20 mil hole or 25 mil hole or whatever it is you take cable out or whatever you shove that in and it seals the hole okay you, i don't know do you call them grommets is it grommets i think and uh, you get a different side i think they're all the same guys you get ones with the holes right through, Ken, so it's just the end, the circular bit, so you can run cable through. I dare say you could drill a wee hole in that and put a cable through it, and it would support it. But you get different sizes, all oh, different sizes. That there, that was just stuff when I, I used to have when I went and done my discos, my disco gear, just some plugs and leads, as I say, nothing, nothing fancy, guys. These here, a lot of used mechanics, or can what they are. Probably used all different sizes of these spring clips, we, we sir clips. And I've got sir clip pliers in my toolbox for them. As I say, you got a lot of things with them on them. And as I say, it's handy to have a box of different sizes in case you lose one and you can fall back to what's in there for the use. Also, this one here, now you can what they are guys split pins different sizes doesn't go wrong to have them in your kit as well you can never tell you get them even a lot bigger than that guys a lot bigger as i say for what i do when i need them i mean that's about as big as what i go guys um washers well you can the story with washers they never go wrong all different shapes and sizes and as I say, there's never a time that you'll no need a washer if you're doing nuts and bolts and all that kind of stuff. I've got all different types, as I say. This here, that's made of them. As I say, you get the bigger ones. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> that's a big one with a hole in the centre. Again, they just uh, do the job. Uh, there's the one I was on about. Look. You get the ones too, so you can run cables through, like cut, drill a hole in something metal, and as I say, put that around the hole, and you can run cable through it, or a hose through it, or whatever, and it'll no rub, and the friction will no cut the cable off the metal that you drilled the hole in, and damage it if you put that in it. Okay. That many different jobs that you can use them for. But I, They never go wrong, as I say, if you've got them, you're better hearing something and no using it than needing something and you've no got it, if you can what I mean. This one here is mainly, that one is for pictures, hanging pictures up, all these wee things, putting the back of picture frames and the wire and your wee eyes that you screw in for, as I say, they get bigger ones and smaller ones, as I say. But it's in a work zone. That's an all day's job. No, that's no just that. They didn't come in the box. I just put them in, but these ones did. The eyelets. That's what came in the box, these ones. All right, and that was for all day's work zone. The work zone set, right? What's in this one? Another work zone box. And that's other ones. And these ones are longer. Okay. I say you can never you can never tell when you're going to use them for hanging things up or whatever. They eh? screw them into a wall, especially that type. They're like hooks. Okay, and you can hook things on them. It's another washers, guys. These are we are. 
See that? They're split washers. See the ones, the sprung ones. And see a lot weird. You can never tell, big or small, when it comes to washers. Now I've got a hand rivet gun that's in the bench that's underneath where it's under this table basically. Oh, that's tight. I'm going to hit lay this down, guys, to open this. Oh, Jesus. That's me. It's open, mate. There you go. You buy them in there. As I see wee rivets for the hand rivet gun that I've got. As I see, I've got a box under the, the bench here, and it's already got loads of it. As I see, they're just spare ones, the beer ones. When I get to them, I'll use them. As I see, I've got enough to keep me going down there, but now. This here, now, that's for putting round cables and putting the heat shrink. Uh, you melt it around the cables, and I've even got a wee lighter in there. That's a work zone product. Heat shrink tube assortment. Alright, that's an old days job as well, guys. This one here. That's another put doing job. I'm tight. Oh. They're being tight, and nobody able to open them then. Being too slack, I mean, you go to lift them and the open scatter everywhere, guys. That's one thing. That's just fuses. All different fuses. Car fuses. Eh, house fuses. All different things. As I say, some fuse wire there as well. As I say, different fuses for different things. Right, and this last box here. This is bulbs. Well, you can tell. Yeah, just all different bulbs. Now, in my cars, I've got car kit bulbs in the car, and they're just spares. When, if I use them, the ones in the spare in the car, I'll just take one of these out and just stick it in. And so that I've always got a hay spare bulbs in the car. And obviously, the, the orange ones are indicators, as you can that. But as I say, you can never hear enough spares with bulbs and that. That's just. Fuses, guys. Sad. See that? Fuses, some tacks, and some plastic washers. And this, ah, just them. They probably hardly ever get used because with my screws, I've got other ones of them. And that's all for that top drawer there, basically. Right, so, we'll set her back up there, right? Fire these back in. Uh, you can never tell when you've got to use them, guys. So you're better hang them so that you can. Right, and what we'll do is, see this one here, we'll get these out, and we'll have a look and see what's in this, in this bottom bit. These are old coffee, sugar, and uh, tea bags, things that was getting thrown in. Still get tins, you put stuff in them, why you waste them? Why you waste them guys? Why you waste them? I say these are the bigger ones full of stuff. Ooh, oh, they're heavier ones. Oh, 
Okay. Hey guys, let's have a look. Right. This top one. Start with this bad boy. It's just screws, guys. Being honest with you. Just screws. Look. You can never have enough screws. Different sizes. Alright. So that first box here is for the screws. That type of screws, right? Well, they shove it down up at this one because they're quite heavy. Okay, next one. Slightly bigger. These are when I'm going to do jobs. I can just, I know roughly what I'm going to be doing and the size of screw I'm going to need. I'll just grab the whole box that I need and just take them with me, with my tools. As I say, just screws. As you notice, they're all sort of different colour to the silver ones. They're obviously treated, I think, is the word. They've got like a coating on them. Right. This next one, just mere screws. Different screws, different sizes. Alright, that's your self tappers. That's self tappers. Alright. See, so you go out and buy these screws, guys. The lads up. I tell you, they're no cheap. So it's like handy hand screws if you've got them, eh? Because you can never tell when you've got to use them, eh? And you can never hear enough. So that's basically the bottom of that shelf, right? So this next box here, this one, it's electrical stuff. Right, okay. See what's in there. Look at old vans, old cars, 12 volt. See, cigarette sockets. Twelve volt socket, so you could put that on anything. There we speakers, out of telly. We fans, out of computers. We fans, switches, fuses, we bulbs, different stuff. As I say, it's stuff that I end up using. A lot of folk would just say, "Look, that's just crap. You'd never use it." But you don't know. You don't know until you. Till you see, yeah. Right. Back on. Then we'll do this long red one. This one here. And this is electrical stuff, guys. Have a board yet? As I say, it's interesting stuff. Just electrical stuff for when you're working with electrics. That's the back off the speakers and that for putting your positive and your for your speaker wires okay, and you, you can never tell what you're gonna that's heat sleeving for on cable uh, switches just all different switches that's a circuit board can't remember what that's off but it'll come back to me sometime as you see that's that box the next one's a near easy one that's a screw one just about there guys to be honest with you it's the sort of thing you can buy you at a fuel station and screw fix you can actually buy these filler screws eh but as i say i've just got a set amount in there that's another box that basically if i need a screw so i can just grab it and if it's ones i've got to use i'll just it's easier taking that wee box than the big heavier boxes eh depending on the day what i'm using guys right let's open these up Glands, different ends. I say, when you're doing electrical stuff, boxes and that, as I say, handy. It's just a couple of wee jars for putting things in, and that's merely the rubber things. 
see them? The rubber hangs. See they are handy to have, guys. Let's put the lids back on them. And put them back in. That's just empty. Stick that at the top. This here is just like wheels and stoppers. Kind of like door stoppers, kind of plastic things you screw into a wall. Skirting board and the door can go back onto it and hit it. Okay. What does it say on it? PVC door stop. Look, hang on, I'll hold it right way. Look, there you go. PVC door stops, guys. And as I say, these things here, they came off the boat me a suite. Bought me a chair for an living room. As I say, you can use them for, guys, you can use them for anything. That's where I've kept them. They came off the back end of a luggage bag that you could walk along with. Still a set of wheels. You'd be able to use it for something. A bit of a magpie, eh? And then you fling out what you think that you can use it. So, put that way back in there. This one here. What's in here, guys? We've got a wee surprise here. <laughs> oh, just me speakers. A lot of folk would just say it's junk, but... See what a flat screen telly, guys? That's the speakers. For you that have never really stripped one. That came out of fly... No. Uh, flat screen TV. Speakers. You can never tell where you need, might need to fit a set of wee speakers or something. Kind of if you've got to make something, eh? And that's a motor. 12 volt motor. And just a light out or something. And that's basically it. Nothing fancy. As I say, it's just... If I'm making something someday and I need something like that. Kind of what I've got. And that, guys, is basically it. So. As I say. Toolbox. I've had the toolbox tours in my videos, and as I say, the, that's just like a tool cabinet at the side of it, but it's not for two, a cabinet at the side of it, I'll say. It's for odds and ends like that. That end doing in there, that one, that's got my boxes, I mean, my socket sets in it. As I say, they're too big for it to go in my toolbox, see? Eh? So I just put them in there, lock them in there. It's uh, socket sets, kind of in their plastic boxes, different ones, I just keep in that one there. And that's it. All right, guys. If any of you find that interesting, I might do a video on my. That's an old Bosch radio up there, and I've got Yin. That's a mere kind of modern one. At the side of it, that one. It's a Silvercrest. It was a Liddell's job, I'm sure. Uh, DAB. It does. And it's quite good. I'll get around to it doing it at some point. So anyway, guys, like and subscribe. Share if you want, I'm no first. As I say, everybody, have a good weekend and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care now, bye.